Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths a Sinking Ship video, and this time it is Titanic being rammed by the Queen Mary. I don't know why people want to see these, but uh, request to request, so here we are. Titanic to our left, Queen Mary in the distance over there. Uh, as before, and as usual, you want to build these ships, the tutorials are available on my channel, so uh, there we go. Both my ships. Right, uh, so yeah, we've got the Queen Mary over there, so she's going to plow into the side of Titanic just for a laugh and uh, we shall see what happens. We know what's going to happen anyway but we'll do it anyway. So I'll just get Queen Mary up and running. I've turned the smoke off of this one as well just to save a bit of lag. Uh, and just, just get a size comparison and sort of see Queen Mary is quite a bit bigger than the Titanic. Irrelevant really but there we go. And expect a massive lag spike. There won't be no explosions there because I've turned all that, or oh, I've taken away all that, that guff. And crunch. Ooh, that's a big, big smash there. I'll turn the HUD off. And what have we got? We've got the whole promenade deck has been smashed. We've got Davits falling off. That's quite a big net, big hit actually. Alright, that's quite a good one. Alright, let's reverse it out. I can't remember what control it is, U and, uh, U and J. So let's reverse out. We've crumpled the bow of the Queen Mary, but we've also smashed the side of the Titanic, so it's not all bad. So you reverse out, my, my dear. And then we'll uh, view the uh, carnage that is here. So stop your engines and stop there, stop there, stop there. Stop there. All right. So here's the damage. We've got a big hole here. The windows seem to be... Are they still in place, or...? Is that a silhouette? I can't really tell. Uh, anyway, we've got quite a bit of a, a smash gun on there. Quite a big hole in that. It's sort of a. It's actually it's gone quite a way along the side as well. So it's sort of a ripple effect, really. It's, it's crumpled one area, and it's sort of gone down the, the length of the ship, well, the part of the length of the deck. Of the deck. Uh, yeah. You can tell this is a conversion as well because the lifeboats are missing. <laughs> the lifeboats weren't held together very well in Minecraft, so when I converted them over, they uh, fell apart. But hey, hey, there we go. I mean, that's a big smash along there. It's sort of no, not too bad actually. It's uh, there's a bit of a ripple effect along the, going towards the stem. Anyway, we'll do an another run and get the old Mary Queen going again. <laughs> You've got quite a pronounced bow, but most of that has been smashed, so hopefully the heavy armour will uh, come into effect on this one. You can see the bow has basically been straightened off. But we shall see. Expect, expect lag spike number two. And crunch. Oh, that's a bigger one. There we are. That's smashed open the side a bit more. Yeah, but quite a bit of damage there. Right, so stop engines again. And another, another davit falling off. And it's pulled back again. And still, the side of the ship is not taking much damage there. That's, that's not a big deal there. Alright, so you just settle back there a bit. And once again, another big hole there. Just notice the promenade areas are not really well decorated. They're just sort of empty spaces, but why? Well, the. the, the, the the walls are there, but there's no windows. No big deal. But the next deck down, <laughs> and uh, got light fittings which are no longer attached. Yep. So we're doing all right. We've got a few score marks on the side of the hull, but that's no big deal. That's metal, though, so you can sort of expect that. But uh, overall, not doing too bad. All right, let's go for hit number three. I can't remember the controls. Uh, you, there we are. Still can't get over how good that Queen Mary looks. She looks amazing. Uh, anyway. Smash number three. Lag spike like hell. Oh, this may be a crash. A game crash. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, Christ. Huge damage there, right? Stop the engines, I say. <laughs> the game's gone into spaz mode. Okay, right, there we are. There's 
debris everywhere there. So that's a ricochet. Oh, well, not a ricochet, but a ripple effect there. Jesus, right. Stop engines. I'm trying to stop the thing. Right. Alright, let's pull back out. We've lost a lot of super stretcher there. Oh no, the game's got into spaz mode. Okay, bear with me on this one. Alright. Try and pull back. There's pieces everywhere. Alright, there we go. Get your ass out of here, Mrs. Mary. Oh no, don't crash again. No. Right. Get your ass out of here before the game goes into spaz mode again. Right. Okay, okay, okay. You're out of here. Okay. Let's examine the damage. You can see pieces everywhere. Oh, well, they were there. Uh, so we've got a massive section of the, of the white section of the ship is gone there. It's just sort of collapsed. Jesus. Uh, God, this game's gone into lag mode again. Alright, there we are. As you can see, there's a massive amount of damage. There's a massive lag spike there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, massive damage. And it's sort of rippled along the side there. It's just ridiculous how that works. Anyway, we'll do another one. Because we might be able to get through the hull. Because we've gone through the hull there. Which there isn't much to uh, talk about. If we can get through the heavy ar pardon me, heavy armour, then we're, talk uh, we're laughing. So uh, press the U button and get the ship going again. God, those engines are loud. I don't use steam engines on my ships, they're too much configuring. I just stick electric motors inside and batteries. Yeah, come on, Mrs. Mary. Expense lag spike number 52. I'm going to keep my distance a bit, I think. And... Smack. Oh, more damage. More bits falling off. Oh, ship being lifted up. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's pull out again. Okay, come on. Come on, reverse, reverse. God, the lag is bad. Eh, not doing too bad. All right, stop engines. Let's go and have a look. See, not much of a, much more damage. I've still got a, still got da davits falling off. And uh, it's just massive crumples. I mean, it looks like the wreck now with all the holes in the side. It's ridiculous. Okie dokie, I really want to turn Queen Mary and sort of aim at the bow, but <laughs> because the ship is so cumbersome to move, I won't be able to. Um, I'm just sort of thinking, because, because Titanic is also on my list as well. So if I, go, if I move to Titanic, I'll be able to reverse the ship slightly, so if we can actually aim at the bow. So if we just reverse the Titan back a little bit, back a little bit, and stop there. And stop, stop. Alright, then we go stop again. Okay, then we go back to the Mary Queen. Nope. There we are, the Mary Queen. And then we'll start again. I think we've done too much damage to the uh, super structure so far, so we need to do some damage to the bow. So let's, let's go. Still can't get over how good that looks. Amazing looking ship. No, anyway. Let's get on to the business end. Gives you an idea on the size of the ship as well. I mean, they are both to the same scale, so... Gives you an idea on the uh, ev evolution of ship size. And smash into the side there. That's a huge knock there. <laughs> right. Stop all engines again. And reverse. <laughs> right, stop engines again. And uh, the, <laughs> the bow is really crumpled on Queen Mary now. I mean, look at it, it's just straight edge now. That's uh. 
not a pretty sight. Actually, there's a massive hole in the top there. Look at that. It's just sort of a ripple effect there. Just crumpled and crushed and fallen in. Blimey. I didn't expect it to be the, that sort of uh, damage being done there, but it's sort of uh, compression damage, really. Anyway, let's have a look at uh, poor old Titan. Yeah, she's looking a bit rough now. <laughs> not looking her best. But still, she's still afloat. <laughs> right, let's go for another one. May as well. It's Christmas. No, it's not. It's New Year, isn't it? It's New Year's Eve. Christmas has been and gone, thank Christ. Got a lag spike. Come on, back, 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 back. There we go. Okay, more damage being done there. Push her out of the way now, right? Stop engines again and reverse out. I'll go back quite a way this time. I'll try and get a, a decent run up. So I'll re reverse Mary right the way back. And I'll go in for one more <laughs> look. So we've got a hole punched right down there so that's uh, a hole punch there but the hull the, the draft of the ship is fine because that's that's heavy armor so it's gonna take a hell of a knock to try and get that through um i think for the for the for the money shot i think what we'll do we'll uh, be the cruelest people of them all so we'll just uh, go into build mode and we'll select our uh, miscellaneous tactical nukes because they're always fun aren't they so we'll stick a nuke on the front uh stick one there and one there. <laughs> nukes are always fun. Oh, they were. Alright, so we've got our two nukes on the front of Queen Mary now, and Titanic is looking a bit worse for wear. Is there any effect on the other side? No. Structure's fine this side, it's just not too bad. Is he looking alright? So the ripple effect has just sort of gone along one side. Is there any issues along the top? No, she's doing alright. I think just that one section here along the top of the superstructure, along top, uh, uh, along the boat deck, was the only area where the uh, the ripple effect happened. So it's mainly uh, on the side it's happened. So we took, we hit the side just here, and then the whole fucking side just fell out. Anyway, enough about fucking sides. Let's let's uh, get on to business. We've got the tactical nukes attached now, and this is going to be the money shot here when the ship eventually hits. I don't think she'll get to a top speed because even though it's not very fast anyway. How fast is she going? She's going seven, seven and a half meters a second. I don't know what that is in knots. Well, do not. We shall see. She's going pretty fast, nonetheless. So we shall see. This probably killed the game, no, my luck. But a tactical nuke is always fun. It's always a good last resort as well. And those seagulls are really starting to annoy me. All right, let's move back a little bit. This is gonna lag like hell. We've gone boom. And the, <laughs> the game's gone into spaz mode. Clear to say, from the depths is not a solid game. It's still very much flawed. There's me a Got a massive lag spike there. It's just managed to crash the game. Anyway, we've got going again. I'm going to pull back a bit. The graphics should change at a distance, but it's not working anyway. Okay, so if we've done the, the nukes. I don't think they had much effect because the game is just lagging like hell. Alright, let's go in the spouse mode again. No, I don't know what's going on. Alright. Okay, Queenie. 
we have to pull you back out again. I think the seagulls don't help either. They're, they're uh, an issue. They keep flying around. They really do not add anything to the game. So just get Queen Mary back out enough for me to uh, zoom back in again. Okay, there we go. The game is improving now. No, it's not. It's gone to seizure mode again. God, this is shit, and that this game is really crap. Come on, move your ass. Mm. There we go, she's out of the way. Stop engines. Alright. That's that. So what's the damage? Virtually nothing, to be honest. I don't think those nukes did anything. I think the game just lagged out, so... We've got a bit of a hole. Like I said, the nukes did nothing, so it's not worth, wasn't really worth the effort. Although we have got a bit, like the ship's leaning at the back, I don't know if it's flooded or anything. Gonna have to investigate here, there seems to be a bit of a list going on at the stern. So what's going on? Let's have a look. There's no water in here. No, each section of the ship is dry, so I'm not sure where the water's coming in, unless it's... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I can, can just be mean and just do that. <laughs> I just clicked on the hull and the ship is now going down on its own anyway. That's what we were trying to achieve, but... Uh, hey, hey, there we go. I'm just sort of tempted to round the ship in one more time. Uh, but I think it's just going to lag the game out so badly, so I think we'll just leave it at that. So anyway, we've got uh, something done. We've got damage in various places. And uh, I'll call it a day. I'll just bring Queen Mary in for one more hit, and if it crashes, and sod it. Let's get on board a second. Can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, I think, I think the problem is we're too far forward, and I can't really control the ship because the rudder is crap. And the rudder doesn't do anything. We'll go in at the 8.2 meters a second. And uh, we'll see what happens. I know what's going to happen. It's just going to lag like hell, but just for the hell of it. And then one more good look at the ship. I mean, the ship does look amazing in from the depths. It's just a shame the game is crap itself. Or not designed. I think that's the fair, fair assumption. The game isn't the problem with me. It's just the big ships, and this thing has been beamified, so it's it's not uh, using uh, individual blocks. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. So just go in for one more knock, and we'll call it a day. Now the problem is the game is lagging already, so you sort of assume what's going to happen. Yeah, it's lagging. No, going to have to call it there. The game is just so unstable, so I'm going to have to leave it. Uh, anyway, that is the uh, Queen Mary versus Titanic. At a very slow pace and to the game crashes. Anyway, that's that, so we'll call it a day. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And apologies for the crap uh, of this video. But, uh, hey, there we go. Anyway, I shall call it a day and I shall see you all soon. So, uh, bye for now.